Hey, we got to do this a little differently today. Um, the original video I had, I don't know what I did, but <laughs> it's not working. So I'm going to have to narrate this one. Uh, I'm going to start with a little product placement. Uh, this Yolotech power stick with the light attachment was a blessing when I'm trying to do this. Uh, so first, you want to start off with taking out your troll motor foot tray. You do that by taking out these bolts that are right here. And with that, once you get it out, you can get underneath uh, the deck of the boat and you'll be able to route your wires through there. Uh, as you can see here, I've got one of my uh, graph wires, my Garmin, uh, one of the wires routed through already. Uh, first, you want to go with a like a 10 foot to 8 to 10 foot section of uh, like power wire, red and black, you know, positive, negative wire. And you're going to route it through that hole. Uh, you used to be able to route it through this side, but uh, it looks like they once they routed the wires, then they filled it with foam, and now you can't get through it. So you got to make your own little spot, and that hole right there is what I used. Uh, all those braces are new too, so that's pretty neat. But anyways, that you're gonna route that wire all the way through to where the footrest is, which is over here. And to get that footrest off, you want to take out these screws right here. Uh, once you get those out, you can get into behind it where they got all the wires and all the where the fuse block is and everything like that. Here you got to take one of those one inch little like circular saw bits and you're going to cut a hole right at the very top left of this thing. And that's going to give you access to that little tunnel, that little tunnel that runs through um, underneath the deck, which if you look. It actually is this piece right here. This is on both sides. Actually, all the compartment lids have this little uh, brace that's running through, or whatever it is, on both sides. It's on all all the all the little compartments have it. Um, so I use that as my little tunnel to route the wires to. You're going to need a switch too. I got this off Amazon, really cheap. Um, cut a little hole out. Slide it right in, put a little silicone, work great. Uh, these are the lights that I got. Uh, again, off Amazon, cheap. I think I paid like 15 bucks for a 16-foot uh, section of wire. It's just red, only red. Uh, with that, though, you've got to uh, be careful because sometimes if you get these longer strips, they uh, sometimes these companies want to weld them together, and if they do, they'll, they'll that weld doesn't hold on. All right, or solder them, I mean. Um, so anyways, do you want to, you're going to put them underneath the gunnel here. The gunnels are whatever they're going to go. It's super easy. You take the section of the little wire that is connected to the LEDs. Uh, don't mind all that mess. I was cutting some fiberglass and uh, got dirty. But anyways, you're going to take that and you're going to put it right underneath that gunnel right there. It goes in, you can see how easy that went in. It just, real quick, slid in. Once it's in, you're going to connect it to your um, other sections. That that 8 to 12 foot section you put through the hole, you're going to just grab them together, red to red, black to black, and uh, pretty easy. Then you connect it, obviously, to the switch. Um, then you're going to route, or you're going to put the, the lights on underneath the gunnel, you know, they got the sticky back on there. You want to push it to the as far back as you possibly can. Um, if it's too close to the edge, you'll actually see the LEDs and it's just awkward looking. Uh, in here, I actually put uh, white LED lights and um, it's pretty easy how to do this too because, like, you can, you know, all I did was just stick them right there. All right, these are cheap ones off Amazon, too. Really cheap. So I did three of them. One on that side, one on that side. I kind of, like, spaced them off. And then one on the back. And then I took the wires, and I just... There, you can literally push them right back into that hole that I that I drilled through. So it, it worked out well. Um, once you get them out, you know, it'll look like that. Now it looks like this. Uh, it works pretty well. Uh they light up good the inside, lights up really well in case you need to use it at nighttime. 
or in the morning when you're going out fishing. So I hope this works. I know it's not as good as it could have been, but I don't do what I have. Um, it's not professional, but it works.